India. Ah, India. Yeah, of and who told you that? Uh, this is what we know. From whom? We know that because of the, uh, the shrine there was off, Jesus. Whose shrine? Jesus shrine. Jesus shrine. Yes. Who built the shrine? Uh, the, the, at the time of the people that were living with Jesus. Give me disciples. one person who actually has, has built the disciples yes. also went to uh, India. The, 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 but they were new disciples. New the disciples. Can you name any Jesus. one of them? I don't have to name any of them. Because you said you're disciples. So I don't know the one. names of them, but there are because... So you know the shrine, but you can't even point to one disciple. Wow. Okay, so you tell me this is a Qadiani belief that Isa alayhi salam, Jesus died in India. He's, he's you know, it's, unfortunately, this is what they do. They make up things. Just, up just like the, the Qadiani, who is uh, your, yeah. what do you say, the, you the know, messenger. Okay. They don't believe in the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi being the last messenger. Yes, so what they say? See, they say, they say, they say, Ghulam Ahmed Qadiani was the last messenger. Was he a prophet according to you? He was a subordinate prophet. Was he a prophet or not? When Jesus comes, he's going to be a prophet. Is he a prophet or not? Answer the question. First you ask the question. When Jesus comes, I'm asking you the question. Is Ghulam Nabi, sorry, Ghulam Ahmed Qadiani a prophet of Allah or not? Yes, he is a prophet. Okay, so who is the Akhir? Ambiya Karim. Who's the Akhir? Who's the, who's the Khatimul Ambiya? Khatim al is the Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Okay. What does the Khatim al Ambiya mean? It means the final, the seal, the seal. Okay, so if somebody is a final, can somebody be after the final? Yes, of course. So then it's not final then? Of course it's not final. Okay. What is the, what is the final message? What, listen, is the, listen, what is the final revelation? Okay, one second. You're talking too much, okay? Now listen. Well, okay? I have to talk because you're giving all nonsense. What you're all doing falsehood. is lying. Dying in India, you're on the cross. Which part did I lie? You're lying. Which part did I lie? You're saying that uh, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is not the last prophet, that we don't believe that. You said that. Did you not say he's a, he's a prophet, the Ghulam Nabi Qadiyah? But did I say he's a new prophet? Oh, no. So what kind of prophet is he? He's a poor prophet, prophet that came before Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Who came before? He did not come with no teaching. So you, he did not come with are no you saying before. Ghulam Ahmed Qadiyah was born before you Muhammad? Listen, you're doing just lying Can you answer the question? Making up stuff. Instead of you being this emotional. The problem with people okay, like look, you. if you don't want to answer the question, that's fine. That is what happens when you yourself are projecting your lies upon us. Ghulam Ahmed Qadiani, according to you, was a prophet. Yes, born a prophet. But you also claim at the same time that the Khatim al Ambiya. So where are you getting your teachings from? Can I finish? Well, no, no, can you I finish? Can't. No, you can't. No, don't where, tell me then. Where are you getting your teachings from? Why should I talk to you if you don't want me to? You're complain? getting your teachings from Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia? Saudi Arabia is the one that's <laughs> telling you all the teachings of Islam. How do you know that? Because after yeah. Muhammad yeah. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam died. You know, for me, the Quran the has got nothing to do with Saudi Arabia. The, the Quran. Which he doesn't even know, which he doesn't read in Arabic. Yes, he doesn't read in Arabic. He doesn't even know what, when I said, Allahu ala kulli shayin qadir. Yes, he doesn't even know that simple understanding of that. Okay? Who killed the grandson of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? No, no, don't change the topic now that you have lost the argument. The argument was this, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is the last messenger, which he already conceded. But then he said, Gulam Nabi, Gulam Ahmed Qadiani is also a prophet of God. Look, you anyway, know, look, you know, all this gobbledygook and all is, the teaching is something we don't want to hear. We've got nothing to do Quran, with your lies. That's Muhammad all I'm saying. So stick to the Quran and the Quran. Sunnah. You have the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is Khatimul Anbiya, which he already admitted. But then how can Ghulam Ahmed Qadiani be a prophet as well? You don't understand the concept okay, so when, of the finality of the prophet. Okay, listen. If Isa is sitting up alive in heaven now... I'm going to answer your question if you don't answer my question. Why should I? I'm going to answer your question if you don't answer mine. I've answered if the, so many questions. No, if the, final, if the finality of the prophethood ends with if Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa then Ghulam Ahmed Qadiani is a false prophet. If He's a false prophet. He said, you know, Ghulam Ahmed Qadiani, he said, I'm going to write X number of books. He did not even complete those books. Okay? <laughs> he can't even complete. They say that Isa alayhi salam died in, the, in India. That is called brainwashing from your Ghulam Ahmed Qadiani. A false prophet. You know, Every prophet the after the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is a false prophet America, and that is a reality. Okay? Khatib al Why are you obsessed with Saudi Arabia? Why are you obsessed with Saudi Arabia? Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia did not... It's got nothing to do with your Aqidah, whether Saudi Arabia is there or not. Our Aqidah is based on the Quran and Sunnah, nothing to do with our country or not. So anyone who says any prophet exists after Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is a lie. And this is the Qadianis. You know why? You know why the Muslims have rejected the Qadianis because of the lies like this. That they, they they say that they accept Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam as the last messenger. But in the same breath, they'll tell you Ghulam Muhammad Qadiani is the prophet of God as well. Okay, no, that is a blatant let lie. Me ask you a question. No, I don't want to answer your question because you're a liar. You're, just you're like the Dajjal. You know that like Dajjal will say, Masih Dajjal, they'll say, 
I am the real Messiah of God. If, if but then he's, he's going to make you, by his deception, God, make you make? believe his God. magic and all that. Now you're repeating what I'm repeating because you've got nothing to say. The reason they believe a false prophet is because they are not Muslims. And that's the reason they are not Muslims, the Qadianis. Okay? So Alhamdulillah, you see, you see, that is the reason Islam, Sunnah Islam, Sunnah Islam is going to sta stand upon the hut and not upon fringe elements like these guys who are just here to spread the lies about Ghulam Ahmed Qadiani, who is a false prophet, not a real prophet. And this religion of that is a false religion called Qadianism, Ahmadiyya, whatever they want to call it. Okay. Anyway, Jazakallah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We don't speak to liars. Go away. Sorry? That's good, that's good. That's the way to do it. You can't block him, man. You're not that big. Another math person. Yeah, he's a loot. That guy was a Qadiani. Look at that. 